Today we're going to look at the new Z-Pax R-Call that I just purchased a couple weeks ago. I got it in the, the new orange that they have. Um, a lot of people you see the black or the green on YouTube, but I decided to go with the bright orange for you know being able to stand out, especially during hunting season. And as you see, outside is orange and the inside is black. I tried to get this to be orange also, but Z Packs wouldn't change it. Um, they kind of follow the exact same policy they used to have with the old art blast. Uh, they used to have a gray backing, and then eventually people would keep on asking them and asking them if they would change the backing into the same color as the rest of the pack, and they finally gave into that. Um, so maybe one day they'll have it as a solid color with the rest of the pack, but we won't. We'll see. The nice thing about this new pack is the suspension system that they've upgraded on this. Um, you actually have a 3D mesh within the um, suspension system. And I'll show you my old Arc Blast that doesn't have this as a comparison. But the 3D mesh is nice. It provides a little bit more grip um, and actually helps you to really cinch the pack down to where you need it to be. Um, the belt on the bottom. It's kind of suspended so that you actually have a bar down here that holds it into the pack. Um, this kind of gives you a little bit of a movement within the hip so that when you're walking it actually bends a little bit with you. Um, at first I didn't know if I was going to like that but after a while I've actually enjoyed it and it actually gives me more comfort. Same thing with the belt. Uh, you can actually pop this belt out and actually change it for a small, medium, large, or an XL. Um, and it also has a 3D mesh on it too. Um, so you can really cinch this down a lot better than the old version. Um, you actually have a V webbing on the actual belt. So you can actually cinch up the top of the belt or the very bottom of the belt. Um, I actually love this V webbing on the belt. Um, you can really cinch this down on the tops of the hips. And on the older version of the uh, Arc Blast, um, I'd always have problems with a little bit of rubbing on the belt. Um, it didn't have the 3D mesh on it. But I found that this allows me to cinch it down really tight and it grips a lot better. And I don't have that rubbing effect anymore. So. To me, this belt is far superior. I love it a lot more. The only thing on this pack that I don't know if I like yet or not is these horizontal stays. They're actually a round carbon fiber stay. On the old ones, they had a, um, a flat piece that was wider. I actually think the wide piece does a better job of keeping the arc in the pack than these little small ones. And so you kind of have gaps between the pack and the stay. Um, and to me, I think the, whole, the the flat bars would do a better job. I wish they would actually use those. And I mean, they use one for the uh, horizontal one here in the middle. And uh, that does a good job. I just wish the sides were the exact same way. I guess they did that the same way. On these new packs, you have a um, shoulder straps that you can adjust the length of the shoulder straps to what you need it to be. And it's kind of hard to move it up, but it's easier to push it down. So this is a nice feature because you can get it a lot, you can adjust this a lot more than what you could with the old ones. The old ones you had to measure your body and then they would sew on the straps to however your measurement length was from your hip to the top of your shoulders. Um, so this is nice that I can adjust it and get that really fine tuning um, for the fit that I needed. The only thing that I've noticed on this pack that, um, that is a con to me is with 
this, getting the bend into this. I have mine set for two and a half inches, but I noticed when it was raining the other day that the bend came out of it. And you can adjust it from the top or the bottom of this to, to keep your, your bend in here. So what I had to do was actually tie a knot on each end to where I wanted the bend because if I didn't, this actually started slipping. And when it got wet, it slipped out of place. And I had one side that was uneven compared to the other. So I finally got that fixed. Um, easy, simple fix. I did this with my old Art Blast. So it, it's nothing new for me on having to fix it. Um, with this pack, this comes in a heavier duty fabric compared to the old Cuban fiber. That was a 2.92 ounce fabric. This is a 4.2 ounce fabric. It's supposed to give you better abrasion resistance compared to the Cuban fiber. Um, the Cuban fiber tends to wear with any type of abrasion. This is supposed to do a better job at it. This um, Dyneema fabric is actually waterproof too. It's actually coated on the inside and it's taped and sealed. So it's basically the same pack as the old version. It's just a different fabric. It weighs more. This pack weighs 27 ounces with the attached hip belts and shoulder strap straps. My older pack without the 3D mesh, um, it weighs a little bit less, about 24 ounces. So about three ounces, three and a half ounces difference between this and my old pack. Um, but so far I love the pack. It just takes a while to adjust this. And, um, you just have to really fine tune this and it'll take you some time to do this correctly. Um, it's taken me about two weeks and I finally got it dialed into where I want it. Um, but I think that this pack will uh, do everything that I need it to do. And my old pack has lasted two years with hardly any wear on it period. And I think this one will go just as long. Here's my old Cuban fiber pack as you can see and as you can see by the old suspension system the hip belts were actually sewn to the bottom of the pack and as much as I tried to tighten this up it would always rub on me it doesn't really show any wear on the actual fabric itself but when you start sweating it starts moving on you um, so this was always the con that I hated about this uh, old art blast and it had just a single webbing belt and I like the V webbing a lot better than this um, as you can see there's no padding um, per se with the with the 3d mesh in there so but this was a comfortable pack and you know you had to measure yourself in the from the shoulders to the hips and then they would sew them on. So there was no adjustment. I couldn't just give this pack to somebody else close to me and they could fit in this correctly. So it's nice that they have the shoulder straps that can go up and down um, and stuff. Same thing with this one. I had to tie knots into the webbing here so that it wouldn't move. So I wouldn't lose my two and a half inches that I have in this. Um, but I've had this pack for two years. I've put probably 1500 miles on this pack and there's no tears in the mesh I have no tears the only thing that I have is a couple of uh, spots on the bottom from tree sap so that's it I mean I I have abused this thing and it still looks really good there's no tears in the Cuban fiber there's no wear spots in the Cuban fiber so people who say that you will destroy these packs, if you're gentle with your gear and you look at where you're setting down your gear, you are not going to have any issues with these packs. It's all about how you treat your gear. If you treat it with kids gloves and you don't start throwing it around on hard rocks, setting it down on things, this pack will last you a very long time. Uh, a couple spots, I can deal with that.
but there is absolutely no damage to this at all. And I'll still use this. Uh, if I have somebody that goes with me that can use my other pack, I will jump back to this one and use it if I need to. So I'm not gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna keep it and continue to use this. One feature that they did change on these packs, on the newer packs that I don't necessarily like, I, I know it's easier for them as a company, but on the old version, you could actually have your uh, key pocket sewn in to the pack itself here, and it's all taped in, and it's great. I love it like this, because you don't have to worry about it. But with the new packs, you have this tie-on, so you actually have to actually stick this into your pack itself um, and then you have to find the right location for you and then you have to actually undo these and stick them into your pack and then this is going to dangle within your pack um, I actually like it solid in the pack to where it's not moving so I haven't actually put this into my new pack yet um, but I eventually will do it once I figure out exactly where I want it but this is made out of Cuban fiber I put my money in here, my cards, and any cash that I need, and any type of medical information that I need. Um, so it's just easier for them to make these mass produce them and just throw them into the bags so that they don't have to, have to take the extra step of sewing in the actual key uh, pockets into the bags. Um, but this pack, I think it will last me just fine. I'll use it. Um, probably for the next five years probably or so until this thing wears out um, I've went two years with the other one I see no problem with this one going even longer than two years and um, I'll use this until I, I find another pack that's better um, if you have any comments or questions on this feel free to comment and like and share if you want to thanks for watching bye